Hello everyone, as you can see, we have two different Stream Decks in front of us. Uh, we have the standard Stream Deck as well as the Stream Deck XL, and these are the second generation Stream Decks. Uh, what we're going to do is unbox the, the smaller Stream Deck here today, and then in a future video we will be unboxing the Stream Deck XL. Uh, but first what we're going to do is take a look at the outside of the box and then actually unbox the Stream Deck. Uh, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. Uh, that way you can be notified when we are unboxing and actually taking a closer look at these stream decks. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the stream deck. All right, so we've got the stream deck here and you might be asking, well, why do you have two different stream decks? Uh, one is for work, for work and the other one is for home. So uh, the big one is gonna be actually for home. Uh, so like I said, this is the second gen stream deck here. So that way you can take a look at it. It comes with 15 different customizable LCD keys um, and they've got single and multi actions. Got a custom stand uh, that supports personalization. Um, we've got an interchangeable faceplate and a detachable cable as well, which is super awesome because the original ones did not have that, um, which is actually one of the things that I had a problem with. But um, and then uh, so this is what it looks like on the back. We've got the Elgato uh, microphone there, um, and then uh, but what's in the box is actually the 15 key stream deck here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Like I said, this video, what we're gonna do is just see what you get with the Stream Deck, not necessarily setting it up. Uh, however, it does work with both Mac and Windows. I'm not sure if, which device I'm gonna set it up with. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be my Windows device uh, as I start doing some streaming. Uh, I asked the community uh, if you'd be interested in seeing me stream and that was something that came up, so that's awesome. All right, so we got the Stream Deck itself. Got that, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it in the box there. So put this over here. All right, so let's see what we've got here in this box. Got the USB cable. Got the quick start guide. Much thicker paper than I was expecting, which is awesome. Uh, so basically, as far as uh, the getting started, we're going to download the interface. Uh, we're going to connect it, and yeah, that's really it. So no need to go through that any further. Uh, this is probably going to be all the warnings, and yeah, don't need that. So on the back, uh, so we do have a USB-C to USB-A cable. Um, the stand here is magnetic. I don't know if you can, if that really picks up or not, but I like that that is magnetic and it does come off. And then um, we do on the back here, maybe I'll add a little more, shed a little more light on that. Um, there is a USB-C port there. So if we were to take this guy over here, Go ahead and set this up. That will fit nicely right in there. Feed that cable through there. Of course, we're going to want this to look nice on the desk. And just like that, we've got everything set up. So basically, all we need to do now is just plug this end into the computer. The buttons feel really nice. I'm looking forward to trying this out to see how it looks. Um, so that's really it. Actually, I would have thought it would be a stronger magnetic connection, but I mean, it'll work. As long as you're not moving this thing around, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's just the way that that was set up. Um, and then on the bottom here, Let's go ahead and see what this is like. Okay, good. So this is a nice rubber piece, so it's not gonna it make it so that it's not gonna move around on your desk. So that is the Stream Deck. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. There we go. Better lighting too. 
Um, so what we're going to do next, um, that's really it for this video, but um, in a future video we will compare this to the much larger one. Um, and also in future videos we'll talk about some of the features and uh, macros and functions that I end up using with these buttons here. Um, like I said, I like the way that this feels, so that's, that's good. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting. And with that, have a great day.